Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province of Pakistan is rich with history, culture, and natural resources. The province has a great potential in contributing to the country's national GDP. But unfortunately, for the last decade, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa confronted multiple calamities, including heavy floods and earthquakes. While militancy being a key contributor to KP's stagnant growth, and worsen economic and social indicators. To invigorate economic activities in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa for a better realization of its economic potential, the federal government of Pakistan and the provincial government of KP have embarked upon post-crisis recovery and reconstruction efforts in collaboration with national and international development agencies. This effort was anchored on a post-crisis needs assessment report which was supported by the Asian Development Bank, European Commission, United Nations, and World Bank in 2010. The report led to the creation of a multi-donor trust fund for the recovery and rehabilitation of the crisis-affected areas in KP, Fada, and Baluchistan. The MDTF is administered by the World Bank and has been operational since August 2010. The KP province has millions of tons of metallic and non-metallic minerals uh, waiting exploitation. The hope of having billions of tons of virgin reserves need proper exploitation. Both North and South have considerable presence of gold, silver, chromite and copper and this can be used if properly and expeditiously tapped, I think this can change the face and face of development in the province. We need to really get a proper way of doing it. And what is that? It is the use, proper use of technology. It is the scientific manner, having scientific manner in the exploitation of these reserves and mechanized mining. That is what we are striving hard for. And this is what I'm aiming to get in the near future. And I'm very grateful that the World Bank is giving me all the support that is required in this area. The MDTF approved a nine million US dollar grant for the Competitive Industries Project for Khyber Pakhtunkhwa to improve employment and productivity in the KB's marble and food processing industry by financing the costs associated with the development of these sectors. The CIPK project financed establishment of a machinery pool at Pakistan Stone Development Company's Marble City, located in Risapur, which was inaugurated in December 2015 by the Honorable Chief Minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The funds were utilized for the purchase of specialized excavators and compressors that arrived in October 2015. After the inauguration, the machinery was rented on subsidized rates to the eligible mines owners in different regions of KP through PASDEC. Here, CPK machine, or excavator, or compressor, etc. are parked. Here, people come and see and give an application that is notified by the police. They give the machine at a subsidized rate. 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 The production is also increased and the mechanized mining is also increased. The demand is also very high. The people are also asking for more and more. Marble and granite represents the largest minerals extracted in Pakistan, with the majority of this extraction and mining taking place in the northern part of KP. The new equipment is used for scientific and precision mining of marble blocks, which will increase output and improve productivity by significantly reducing the wastages from 80% to an estimated 60% that is caused by indiscriminate blasting. As a result, it is estimated that the production of each mine will increase from the current 2,500 tons per year to 3,600 tons per year. This increase in production is in addition to quality improvement. So far, the machinery has been deployed to different sites in KP, including Mensera and Buner. 
سروسا کورے کم مائننگ چی دلتا کے کے دا اغا پا بلاسٹنگ کے دا چی اغی کے تا مائننگ ام تبایی وا تا گورمنٹ تا پارا ام تا نقصان دیر خبر وا اس چی کم دے ممتا سی آئی پی کے والا کم او مشیندریانی چی کم راکڑی دے ایک سیویٹر شو کامپریسر شو پا اغی باندے زمون مائننگ باندے دیر خواہ سر پریوا تا پا اغی کے منگا دیر خواہ میکنائز مائننگ سٹارٹ کرد او سکوئر بلاکو باسو پا اغی کے ویسٹ بلکل تا نش پرابر دے سی آئی پی کے کا پروڈیکٹ آیا جس میں سی آئی پی کے نے کچھ نئی مشینیں جس میں ایکسکویٹر کمپریسر نیو کمپریسر اور باقی چیزیں لے کے آئے جس سے ہمیں بینیفیٹ یہ ملا کہ جو آور برڈن اور باقی چیزیں ہم ہفتہ ہفتہ دو دو ہفتہ لے کے اس کو نہیں ہٹا پا رہے تھے ان کو ہم نے اب گھنٹوں میں ہٹانا شروع کر دی ہے ہمیں اس سے لیبر ہماری سیف ہو رہی ہے ہماری پروڈکشن بڑھ رہی ہے ہم صرف اب لوکل مارکیٹ پہ ہی فوکس نہیں کریں گے انٹرنیشنلی بھی اب ہمیں امید ہو گئی ہے کہ ہم انٹرنیشنل بھی اس کو ڈیلیور کر سکیں By December 2015, the CIPK project achieved the following goals. Procurement of 13 excavators and 13 compressors and their deployment. Feasibility studies on fruits and vegetables dehydration unit and dates processing unit in Khyber Pukhtunkhwa have been completed and disseminated. A total of 216 government staff and other stockholders have been trained on environmental and social mitigation and monitoring plan and health and safety management and monitoring plan. More than 300 local and international stakeholders were sensitized on minerals potential and legislation through national and international conferences, seminars and expos. We are serving this sector for the last four years. The machinery we were using did not support mechanized mining. Through deployment of CIVK excavator and compressor, our production has increased, reduced wastage, enhanced employment opportunity in this area within short span. We had a machine here, and with our progress was less. When we had a machine here, we had a big increase in our progress. We had 30-40 cars, and now we have 100-150 cars here. After that, we have a whole big opportunity to get a lot of work. We have opened up 30-40 cars. We have opened up 30-40 cars. We have opened up 30-40 cars. ایسا کال کے ڈیر آسان تیارا گلی دا روزگار ہم سیوا شوی دا گی دا وجی ناو کار لکا چی کم جڑی رسان شوی دی سو فار دی ریزالٹس فرم سی آئی پی کے پروجیکٹ آر مور دن ایکسپیکٹڈ ان ٹرمز اف جاب کریشن انکریس پروڈکشن اور ریڈوسٹ ویسٹیج آن دی ویلیو ایڈیشن فرنٹ ویلی سون ایس پارٹ آف آر اور آر ویجن فار دی سیکٹر گروت اور دیولپمنٹ وی آر learning from the experience of the CPAC strategies to come up with the idea of minerals economic processing zone in selected points of the province where we are looking forward to establishing minerals cluster and at one single point we will have minerals processing uh, facilities uh, to ensure the completion of our envisioned value chain. In the first few months of the project's machinery deployment production of marble and granite has been increased. Wastages at sites have been reduced. While employment in this sector has increased. Competitive Industries Project is a success story of the Multi-Donor Trust Fund. This project has laid down the foundation of modernized industrial initiative in the dimension stone sector of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. From my department's perspective, this project has successfully developed the linkages between minerals development and industries department through an integrated approach for achieving targets of establishing a value chain from mines to industry and market. I appreciate the efforts of management team and the World Bank for paving a way for industrial promotion in the mining sector. On the basis of results received from the CAPK project, ERK project and other multi-donor trust project launch implemented in KP, we consider that uh, these are beneficial projects and uh, helpful for the economy of the province and even for individual of, the, of this uh, area. So we will request the donor agency as well as the provincial government 
to make close coordination and uh, make efforts to receive further projects in this sector to enhance the economy of the province. The MDTF's initiative of CIPK project proved to be a positive step towards revitalization and development of long-neglected potential sectors in KP that can help in economic development of the region. A continuous support in similar areas will generate a sustainable economic and development opportunities for a stable and prosperous Pakistan.